Oh, oh my goodness, it's that time again. GP, where are you? Oh, he's up here, Happy. Oh, oh my, oh, I'm under control, I'm under control. Have you ever tried this before? What you do is you take a piece of paper and you fold it like this, like this, and then you throw it up in the air like that. <laughs> wow, you've just made a paper airplane. And there are lots of other kinds you can build as well. They're called gliders because they glide on the wind. Now. GP, Hammy's friend, the guinea pig, you remember how clever GP is always building things. Well, GP decided to build himself an airplane. Now, an airplane is really just a glider with a motor to help it fly. Well, you can imagine the kerfuffle that cost along the riverbank because when GP starts something, he really gets going. First, he tried out all kinds of different shapes and sizes and wings and tails to see which would fly the best. Nobody along the riverbank had ever seen anything like this before. Neither have you. <laughs> Neither have I. Whoops. <laughs> Here it comes again. Ooh. What? Not bad, not bad, eh? Hmm, a little more wing, less tail. Gotta have control, gotta have control. Hey, yahoo! Wonderful to be so clever. Amazing what my mighty brain can do, isn't it? Yes, indeed, my mighty brain. Ooh. Even the wise old frog couldn't figure out what was going on. Now I'll uh, change this angle here. Let's see, wings, tail, engine, wheels, propeller. The main thing is to know all the big words. Rudder, what's a rudder? Oh, here's the rudder. Now I gotta tie them all together somehow. Wires, that's it, wires. Well, soon I won't be able to stand myself. I'll be so clever. What'll I do then? Wait a minute, what'll I do now? I gotta get this thing finished. Come in, come in. Oh, oh, GP, it's wonderful. All these drawings and numbers and big words and... What is it, GP? What's it going to be? Well, you're a lucky hamster, Hammy, because you're the first to see the beginning of a whole new era here on the riverbank, the era of the flying guinea pig. But, but GP, you already fly in your balloon. Well, the balloon is old stuff, wonderful as it is. What you see before you is the beginning of my new airplane. It's noisy, it's fast, it's pure GP. Now, all I have to do is get it built. Would you care to give me a hand? Hammy just couldn't turn down a chance like this to work with the Riverbank's greatest inventor. As GP directed, Hammy helped him saw, hammer, lift, and pull the different pieces into shape. Pretty soon, 
Hammy was exhausted and excused himself to go off for a well-earned nap. Thank you, hamster. When you return, you'll see history in the making. Don't be long. I, I hope history can wait till I get back, GP. I'll see you later. Hammy ran over to tell his best friend Martha Mouse that GP was about to make some history, whatever that was, and then excused himself for a quick nap. Well, after all, he'd worked very hard helping GP, hadn't he? Just give me a few minutes, Martha, and then we'll go over to GP's and... Oh, I hope history can wait. I'd hate to miss history. Hammy was very good at napping, you know, taking short little sleeps, and this was a particularly good one. Besides, having a special nap always makes the rest of the day just that much better. Before long, Hammy awoke and convinced Martha they'd better get right over to GP's or they might miss history in the making. And off they went. Come on, Hammy, let's go. I sure hope GP waits for us, Martha. I'd sure hate to miss any of that history. Well, the hamster was absolutely awestruck. He'd never seen anything like it before. And to think he'd helped him build it. Wow. It's, it's beautiful, GP, but will it really fly? How does it work, GP? What, what makes it go? Hop in, Hammy, and I'll show you. Coming, GP. I is this how we make history? In reply, GP pushed the starting switch. Contact! Is that it, GP? Is that all? Patience, hamster! Contact! That's better, GP. History sure is noisy, isn't it, GP? Yeah, well, you ain't seen nothing yet, Martha. That was just the warm-up. Now, uh, let's see who's here. By now, Turtle and Frog had arrived to find out where the noise was coming from, and they all gathered round to admire the guinea pig's latest invention. ha <laughs> I'd like to announce how clever I am and how my good friend Hammy Hamster helped me build this proud machine and how clever I am to have a friend like Hammy. Now, I want you all to write letters to each other and then Hammy's going to collect them and uh, what will we do next? Oh, yes, Hammy will carry the mailbag. You'll carry the mailbag, won't you, Hammy? Hammy was eager to help. So he got everybody to write a letter to everybody else. And then Hammy got them to put all the letters in the mailbag. And then Hammy pushed the big sack up into the cockpit and climbed up to join GP. Stand clear! Contact! <laughs> Prepare for takeoff! Hang on, Hammy! GP revved the engine, and the plane shuddered and shook and began to move forward, leaving everybody in a cloud of leaves and dust behind it. This is wonderful. It's terrific. Hang on now. We're going to give him a real flying show. Whee! Whee! Faster, GP. Faster. Okay, Hammy. It's time to deliver the mail. So Hammy got the mailbag ready while GP tried a dazzling maneuver right over the crowd below. There he 
there goes the mailbag. Boy, that was a fast delivery. Watch out for the mailbag. Well, he's done it again. By the time GP had made a magnificent landing, everybody had read their mail. Hey, this one's from you, Frog. And Frog was most impressed because he already had Turtle's reply. Amazing. Hang on, GP. Here's the ladder, Hammy. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, nice yes. going. Oh. And then Hammy climbed out to the cheers of the others. Oh. Well, thank you, thank you, but uh, I owe it all to my mighty brain. It's the brain that does it, you know. I'd be nowhere without my mighty brain. Thank you, thank you, thank but you. But all this thank praise you. just went thank straight you. to GP's head. And before long, he started to believe all the wonderful things everybody was saying about him. And he began to boast about how he was now the fastest thing on the riverbank. And then he challenged anyone in the crowd to a race. And you'd never guess who accepted, would you? I wouldn't, not in a million years. But then I heard it myself. Listen. I'll race you, GP. Turtle, who we all know is certainly not the fastest thing on legs, actually challenged GP to a race. And you could even use your airplane if you like. And everybody looked at Turtle and wondered if he'd really finally lost it. What a silly thing he'd said. I accept. Turtle, you're on. First thing in the morning, I see you here. Oh, boy, another feather in my cap. Another way to be a genius. Wow, how lucky can I get? It's all brain fodder, you know, exactly what my mighty brain needs. The next morning, everyone was up early in anticipation of the big race. Imagine slow, plodding Turtle racing against the invincible GP in his airplane. Really, quite impossible. But a race is a race, and excitement was running high. Everybody was talking. Granny Rabbit, the squirrel, Chipmunk, Madam Butterfly, all were at Twitter with what they thought might happen. Even Snurdly Snail was wound up about it. Oh, hi, Snurdly. Are you coming to the race? Oh, I just love racing. Racing is what I love the best. What would life be without racing? Oh, my goodness, I'm so excited. Kathy Caterpillar was excited, too. Oh, I hope I make it in time. I wonder if it's a foot race. I've got so many feet, you know. I just love racing. Racing, racing, racing as fast as I can. Feeling the wind as it blows through my hair. Now over here. Then over there, racing, all oh, racing. Get ready, get set, and then go. And while racing, I may sing a song about racing to and fro. Racing, racing, racing as fast as I can. Feeling the wind as it blows through my hair. Now over here. Then over there, racing, racing. Get ready, get set, and let go. And while racing, I may sing a song about racing to and fro. So let's go. Now, where's my noble opponent? Where's Turtle? And even as GP spoke, Turtle lumbered into view. But look. There's something different about the way Turtle's walking, and he's limping. And look, he's got a big bandage around one of his legs. Oh, Turtle, well, what happened to your leg? I'm sorry I'm late, everybody, but I've sprained one of my four ankles. So I've asked for a second to run in my place. That's somebody who'll race instead of me. You don't mind, GP, do you? Of course not, poor turtle. I'm sorry you've hurt yourself. I don't mind at all. 
GP knew there was nobody else on the riverbank who could possibly beat him in his airplane, no matter how fast they ran. Okay, uh, here's how I think we should race, GP. We'll start here and go down to the old dead tree here, and then we'll... Of course, Turtle, anything you say is okay with me. Now, uh, by the way, uh, if it's not you... Who am I racing against? Just, uh, who do you have in mind? All the others waited for Turtle's reply, each secretly fearing that it might be one of them. Come on, Turtle. Who's going to race me? Bring him on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Who's it going to be? Come on. And then Turtle dropped the name of the only opponent GP had never even thought of. It's the wind, GP. You're going to race the wind. The wind? What do you mean, the wind? Well, wind is a member of the community, GP, wouldn't you say? Well, yes, but, 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 uh, but, but, I, 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 I. But what, GP? Well, but nothing, Turtle. I guess I deserve it. Maybe I can beat him anyway. You hear that, wind? boy, GP. That's the spirit. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Now, the great race was about to begin. Oh, oh, I'm so excited, Martha. So am I, Annie. I just can't wait. Are you ready, GP? Are you all ready, airplane? Yep, yep, airplane's ready, he's ready. Ready and standing by. Oops, I uh, better start my engine. <coughs> Are you ready, Mr. Wind? Aye, aye, Mr. Turtle. Standing by. I guess we're all ready, then. I'll count. Are you ready with the starting gun, Hammy? I I think so, Turtle. I, I, I guess I just pull this thing here and, uh... Uh, one. I, I think I can do it, Turtle. Uh, two. Oh, wait a minute now. I, I've got it almost figured out. Uh, three. There, there, I've got it. Boy, I, I did it. I did it all by myself. raced off, heading down the leg toward the first turn. And they all watched, wondering if Wind was really going to challenge him at all, because not even the tall grass was twitching. Boy, I love racing. Let me at that first flag. Hey, where is it now? Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Hey, it's yellow, my favorite color. So GP had made the first turn and was clearly in the lead. Maybe Wind was going to let him win after all. Well, in that case, he had time to do a little showing off, didn't he? And GP thrilled the crowd with some dazzling flying stunts. Wow! I even impressed myself! What will I do next? Let me see now. Let me see. What will I do next? Oh, boy. Here we go. Very impressive, GP. A dazzling display. But, Wind, aren't you going to race him? That was the whole idea, you know. Don't worry, Turtle. Nothing wrong with a little head start, is there? I'm just playing with him. It's a breeze. Uh, whatever you say, Wind. Now GP had rounded the second flag. Only one more to go, and he'd be on the home stretch. Boy, oh boy, did I show that blue flag a thing or two. Now, where's the pink one? Aha, I've got it, I've got it, straight ahead, okay. Wow, here it comes. Whoopee! Boy, that was close. Ha, 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 I'm home free. Nobody can catch me now. I've got him, I've got him. Boy, oh boy, imagine me beating the wind. Come on, wind. 
Go get him, Wind. Go get him, Wind. Come on, Wind. Come on. And then, suddenly, Wind whipped into action. Before you could bat an eye, he was scurrying leaves, flattening the tall grass and bending trees in his path as he powered into a fury to catch up to GP's plane. And catch him he did, giving the little plane a severe trouncing as he passed it, tipping the wings and almost bouncing the poor guinea pig over the side. Hey, wind, uh, take it easy. It's only a game, you know. Thought you could beat me, GP? <laughs> Uh, guess who's going to win this one? <laughs> I guess you are, Wind. But no more fancy stuff, OK? Look, there's the finish line straight ahead. Gosh, maybe I could just, uh, maybe with a little more power, maybe I could, uh, maybe, maybe if I just try. Never one to give up, GP poured on the gas and raced the little plane for all it was worth. But Wind was faster and passed GP to swirl down over the finish line and beat him fair and square. Oh, good for you, Wind. Everybody oh, cheered Wind and cheered GP, too, for trying so hard. Come on, plane, we're almost down. Don't fail me now. As GP stopped his engine, he looked out and noticed that Turtle wasn't wearing a bandage anymore. What happened, Turtle? I'm glad your leg is feeling better so fast. How come? Turtle explained to GP that it was all a joke that he and Wind had arranged between them, and that his ankle was fine, and that he knew GP wouldn't mind because it had made Wind feel more, more like a real member of the community. GP laughed at the joke on him, and Wind apologized for beating him so badly. How about a rematch, GP? I'd like to race you again. Maybe you'd have better luck next time. <laughs> How about a GP? Well, thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Wind. You beat me fair and square. I still enjoyed the race, though. And later, they went off to Hammy's house to have a nibble and talk about the race. You know, Wind isn't such a bad guy after all. What do you mean, GP? Well, uh, he let me run ahead of him right up until the finish. Well, maybe someday you'll be able to beat him, GP. You're so clever. Oh, I don't think I'll try that again, Hammy, but uh, boy, do I ever have a great idea for my next project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my airplane and then I'll... Well, we'd better stop listening right there. And you know why? Of course you do. It's because that's another story. <laughs>